Hey everyone, it's Coach Tam, 100 pound weight loss success story and transformation coach based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm excited to hop on tonight and talk about how to stay on point while eating out. This is an important topic because here in America, about 50% of our food budget is spent while eating out and we tend to eat 50% more calories, fat, and sodium when we eat out, but it doesn't have to be that way. What many people don't know about me is the year that I lost the majority of, of the weight in 2008, uh, losing 70 pounds in 10 months, I ate out every single day, all right? So I wasn't as disciplined uh, with packing my meals back then. But what it taught me was a very important lesson about how it is possible to balance the two, to be able to eat out and reach your goals. So if that's where you are, if you're a person, you know, maybe you can't pack your lunch every day. Maybe you're a busy person and you need ways to be able to balance the two, then this broadcast is for you. And I want to encourage you to invite your friends and family that you tend to eat out with to this broadcast so that they can learn to. All right, so three things that you can do to stay on point while eating out. Well, the first one may surprise you. It may not be one that you think of, but it's really important. It is to review your why. Why are you doing this? Why is it important for you to get healthy? Why is it important to shed the extra weight? The people that review their goals tend to be more focused because it shifts them from what feels good right now to what they want long term. And people that are able to consistently reach their goals are able to do that. They have vision. They're focused on the future, not just right now. Now, my second tip for you is to actually look before you leap. What do I mean by that? I mean taking the time to look up the information on the restaurant before you go. It sounds complicated, but it's really simple. You can use a tool like MyFitnessPal. It has lots of information on many restaurants loaded into it, or it is as simple as going to Google, typing in nutritional information and the restaurant that you're planning to go to. In many instances, you will be able to access the content of their meals, including the calories, the fat, the sodium, the sugar. You'll be able to look all of that up before you go and make an informed decision. Now, if you are a person with high blood pressure or are of African-American descent, I want to remind you that sodium is just as important as calories. So make sure that you're looking at that as well. Last but not least, I want to encourage you to not skip meals. Now, back in the day, uh, before I knew this, I had a tendency, and I hear many people do this, well, I'm going to save up my calories because I know I'm going to go out and I want to be able to have what I want. And that sounds great in theory. Here's the problem. When we skip meals, what tends to happen is that we are over hungry. So by the time we get to the restaurant, even if we plan to be good. We are so hungry that all restraint goes out of the window. It's just too much for us to bear. So then what we tend to do is order what sounds good in the moment, but may not align with our goals. So instead, I want to encourage you to actually eat all of your meals prior to going to the restaurant. Now, it may make sense to cut back, maybe substitute, have some fruits and vegetables to reduce the calorie content for the day, but you never, ever, ever want to go to a restaurant hungry because it increases the chances that you'll make a bad decision. So hopefully you're learning here that staying on point while eating out is all about strategy and it starts before you get to the restaurant. If this has been helpful for you, go ahead and give me a like so that I know that this is information that is benefiting you. And if you would, go ahead and hit the share button. Share it with others that can benefit too. And don't forget, if you're looking for more tips, visit our website at www.265point.com. Have a great evening. God bless.